Hey everyone, I'm Bellamy. In the previous two videos, you met Andrea and Alexa. And in this video, I'm going to be helping you learn the best ways to talk to teens about vaping. And what better way to learn how to talk to teens than from a teen? First, it's good to know all the facts and answers to potential questions that the teens may have. That way they feel that they can trust you and that your knowledge is beneficial to them. Here's a few things to get you started. First, it's helpful to know the chemicals in a vape and to understand that it's not just water vapor. Second, what vaping can do to the growing body and brain are the most important topics to cover. And lastly, know that a vape is not an FDA approved quit device. And for more facts, see video one in the series. Next, it may be tricky to start the conversation, but it's key to find the right moment and to make it natural. You can do this by asking the teens neutral and open-ended questions such as, what kinds of things do you and your friends like to do when you get together? Or in what kinds of situations have you seen people vaping? Or do you know anyone that vapes? As you're talking, make it a conversation and not a lecture. And please, please, please don't be condescending by saying things like, oh, I'm sure you don't know, or since I'm a doctor or a nurse, we know more about this. As soon as you sound like you're lecturing or giving scare tactics, teens will most likely tune that out. For example, by providing me with facts allows me to make the conscious decision of what I wish to do with that information and <laughs> creates trust between myself and the educator by acknowledging that you respect me and only wish to steer me in the right direction that won't harm me, instead of making it feel as though it is an obligation that I do exactly as you tell me. Another trick is to use motivational interview questions. These highlight positive choices and curb the negative choices. For example, ask me if I've ever seen any negative effects of using the device or if I've ever had a seen a friend suffer a consequence. Personally, I have seen friends' behaviors become very moody, irritable, and impatient when they couldn't get their hit. Some friends couldn't even get up in the morning without having a vape first thing when they woke up or they had a giant headache and felt very sick. On the flip side, compliment those of us who do make healthy choices and remember to reinforce that most teens, 80% of us, are not vaping. Next, make sure you have teens identify what healthy coping skills do work for them. So when faced with stress and anxiety, they know how to handle the pressures. Here are a few suggestions for myself and friends. Take a de-stress day to yourself, spend a day with things you enjoy like family or Netflix, maybe a movie marathon or something outdoors like a walk or swimming. It's important to find comfort with your friends as well. Spend a day with them in person or online. A lot of teens journal their problems as well because it works for some. Also, take a minute and have teens practice refusal skills. And these should sound like, no, I like my lungs or no thanks, yeah, no. Oh no, it's okay, I don't really like it. Or if you're still being pressured, you can be more firm and say, again, I love my lungs. Why would I do something stupid to my lungs that could harm my body? That's just common sense. Finally, make sure you answer all their questions and be sure to check out our resources page and places to guide teens to quit. Thank you for listening and hopefully I was able to share some new tips on how to talk to teens about vaping.